Today we're going to be cracking open the majority of the nodules you see here. We've also got Shea opening up a really lovely Elegantiserus nodule and later on in the video I'll show you some fossil preparation and an enormous Harposerus ammonite. We've got a few nodules here to crack open. They might contain ammonites, we're not too sure just yet. So let's, uh, let's get cracking. It was a very windy day as you can probably hear. However, that didn't stop us from opening up the nodules. Starting to show there and the rest of the nodules cracking, so let's give it a little light tap with the hammer. Oh nice, not too bad. And this one's a semi-solata mammonite. Another one. Let's try a bigger nodule this time. This one looks pretty nice. Well, it was a nice split. Let's hope there's something nice inside. Ah, incredible. Oh, nice. That's a nice big one. With these ammonites, they're usually preserved with small calcite veins, and you can see the little veins running through here. But it should prep up lovely. Awesome. Well. That's the first few nodules opened up. Now just a moment we're going to move on to another boulder and start cracking open some more of them. The clip I've got coming up just now is from a very recent storm near to where we were fossil hunting today. As you can see storms like this help to reveal some pretty incredible fossils equally they can also destroy other fossils as well. It's got to be very careful around the sea. Even though I was stood far away, you have to be extra cautious because there could always be a much bigger wave than the rest of them, which comes out of nowhere. So always stay far away. Let's open up some more nodules now. Let's start with the smallest one. Semi-solata. It's really cute. Goes back together perfectly as well. That revealed a pretty awesome specimen. Got plenty more brilliant ammonites to be opened up very shortly in this video as well.
Oh, he was quite a, quite a hard one to crack. That is the last of the nodules that we're opening today from today's fossil hunt itself. However, coming up, I do have a pretty awesome ammonite nodule that we're going to open, which ends up containing several pyritic elegantis with ammonites. After that, I've also got the harposerus ammonite to look at, the massive harposerus that is, and also a little insight into some fossil preparation with one of our latest preparation tools. Still plans to look forward to. Oh gosh. That's a lovely one. That's incredible. Got two relatively big specimens and lots and lots of little ones next to them. I didn't think we were going to do it, but you did a great job there, Cher. Sure. Thank you. Here's a look at the very large Harposerus ammonite that we found. When we initially found this, we actually thought it was only the very outer world that was preserved. The ammonite was broken into a number of pieces, and it wasn't far from just being put onto the garden. Thankfully, my dad decided to prepare it and it turned out to be easily the best Harposerus ammonite that certainly we've ever found and that we've one of the best we've ever seen. It's absolutely incredible. Looks great on the photographs and looks a lot more impressive to hold in person as well. If you'd like a little video showing this ammonite in a lot more detail, then just let me know in the comments. Here's a look at some fossil preparation some more Harposerus ammonites in the background, as you can see. This is our latest fossil preparation tool from Paleotech. Absolutely brilliant ploughing through iron pyrite. This fuel is particularly important for us. It's a lot of the blocks we prepare are filled with pyrite. It's very challenging to remove it. The pen doesn't really have any issues going through it whatsoever. quite satisfying to watch my dad removing the bulk of matrix from this fossil. Of course doing any fine work he swapped to a pen which is a bit more precise but for removing bulk rock like this it's absolutely perfect. My dad's very busy with several projects. Hopefully we'll have some of them finished soon so that I'll be able to show you. Hope you've enjoyed this video got a last little clip to finish the video off of another rough sea sadly didn't really find many fossils on this occasion thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video